As we approach the new millennium, we're constantly searching for technological breakthroughs. We demand products that are efficient, productive, and accurate. We require revolutionary new tools that are advanced, yet easy to use. Whether you currently own or are planning to purchase a Surelock multi-frequency locator, we think you'll agree that this product represents a new generation in pipe and cable locators. The Surelock locator includes a multi-frequency, portable transmitter that offers the industry's broadest range of frequencies. This range accommodates audio, radio, and ultra-high frequencies and makes your search easy under almost any locating situation. Because the Sherlock transmitter allows you to broadcast three unique frequencies simultaneously, you optimize your efficiency and accuracy. The Sherlock receiver has been developed by field technicians and engineered by experts to be rugged and operator-friendly. This advanced instrument uses a microcontroller and signal processing circuitry to automatically adjust the signal strength to display a continuous depth reading and to provide left-right directional arrows. This gives the operator a unique three-dimensional view of the pipe or cable. In this video, we'll take a look at the unique features of the Sherlock integrated receiver and transmitter. We'll explain how our locator works and finally, will give you the opportunity to witness an actual field demonstration. On the transmitter, you can see the backlit display panel, the on-off control, and the frequency control. By pressing the on-off button once, you activate the transmitter panel, which will read 8.1 kilohertz. On this frequency, you'll have an option to switch between low and high power. Notice the low power indicator under the 8.1 reading. This indicates that the signal is being transmitted at a half watt, which is used for standard locates. Press the on-off button a second time. You'll again see 8.1 kilohertz displayed. But now you have activated the high power indicator, which transmits three watts of signal. High power can be used for long distance locates or for pushing the signal on a poor conductor, such as cast iron. Press the on-off button a third time to turn the transmitter off. When the transmitter is turned on, the display defaults to 8.1 kilohertz because it is the most accurate frequency and allows the least signal bleed off. To utilize another frequency, press the frequency button. The second frequency displayed is 81 kilohertz and the third is 480 kilohertz. These frequencies do not have a high power option due to FCC regulations. The fourth frequency selection is all this feature allows the operator to broadcast all three frequencies at the same time, both conductively and inductively. When connecting conductively, you'll see the continuity test bar. This display provides real-time feedback on the strength of your connection. On the back of the transmitter, you'll find three jacks, which can accommodate 8.1 kilohertz, 81 kilohertz, 480 kilohertz, and all. You'll also see the test port, the safety ground, and the battery charger. The transmitter is powered by a lead-acid battery and has automatic shutoff to conserve power. In order to turn your Sherlock receiver on, simply press the on-off button. This button is also used for volume control. You've now activated the signal power indicator on the display, which tells the operator how much signal is being received from the conductor. The signal power is the best indicator that the receiver is over the target conductor. Below the signal power indicator are the left-right directional arrows. If no arrows are shown and your signal strength is strong relative to other readings in the area, you're likely centered over the pipe or cable. In the bottom right-hand corner, you'll see the depth indicator. This feature, also found in the 8.1 kHz and 81 kHz frequencies, continually displays the estimated depth of your conductor. When the technician levels out the handheld receiver with the use of the bubble, the receiver automatically displays the calculated depth. Locating conditions, placement of other utilities, and soil conductivity may affect the accuracy of the calculated depth. If the technician chooses to use another frequency, he may do so by simply pressing the frequency button on the right. 
the 8.1 kilohertz frequency is preferred because signal bleed off is minimal. Good conductors such as electric and communication cables and transmission pipeline work well with 8.1 kilohertz. The 81 kilohertz frequency may be used to locate most utilities, coated pipe, and bare steel pipe. The 480 kilohertz frequency is distinct and will be needed for trouble locations due to poor conductivity. Some of these poor conductors include broken tracer wire, cast iron pipe, poorly bonded or grounded cable, and conductive tape. The receiver also accommodates the 5060 cycle, commonly known as power mode or passive locating. This power mode is used to locate electric lines using stray current and does not require the use of the transmitter. At 480 kilohertz and 5060 cycle, you will not have right-left indication. In these instances, you'll use the strength of the signal on the signal power indicator and tone difference to locate your line. The receiver runs on six AA batteries found on the back side of the receiver. Below the handle of the receiver are two ports. The one to the left is used for diagnostic testing. The one on the right is used to connect a coupler clamp. If you're unfamiliar with the area where you're locating, you should put the red and black leads into the all port on the back of the transmitter. Place your ground rod away from your target utility and away from other utilities. Connect the black lead to the ground rod and your red lead to the utility. Make sure you have good metal-to-metal -metal contact. Do not connect directly to a live electric cable or any conductor that contains electric current. Use a coupler clip. Next, turn the transmitter to all. Check the continuity test bar. In this case, it has dropped which indicates that we have a bad connection or an extremely poor conductor. In this example, our black lead has fallen off the ground rod. Turn off the transmitter. Reattach the black lead to the ground rod and turn the transmitter back on. Notice the continuity bar now reads correctly. Make sure the transmitter is turned off when adjusting the red and black leads or you may receive a shock. We're now ready to turn the receiver on. You'll start on the 8.1 kilohertz frequency, which offers the most accurate locating and allows the least signal bleed off. Notice the signal strength is strong and the depth reading is reasonable. The more signal on your target utility, the more accurate the locate. In this example, our signal strength dropped off rapidly as we tried to locate our target utility in the easement. The drop off in the signal strength is due to the poor conductive features of the utility and is not caused by the Surelock. The operator switches the frequency on the receiver to 81 kilohertz. The higher frequency is able to jump over any condition which may block our low frequency. We now have good signal strength numbers and the depth has returned. Depending on the conductivity of your pipe or cable, you may choose to switch to the 81 kilohertz frequency, which increases signal strength but also allows for more signal bleed off. The 480 kilohertz should only be used for trouble locates, since the higher frequency increases the possibility of energizing additional conductors. Keep in mind that the higher the frequency, the more the signal will stray. Because the Surelock has continuous depth reading, a depth test may be performed to determine how the Surelock is operating. Lift the receiver six inches above the ground. The depth reading should rise six inches. Additionally, the signal power indicator should drop and the left-right arrows should not appear on the display. In this example, we're inducing a signal by aligning the transmitter over our target utility with the big yellow arrows pointing in the same direction as our utility. Notice the depth reading goes down and an arrow appears when we perform our lift test. Our technician is too close to the transmitter and is air coupled. By moving away from the transmitter, the technician is able to perform a proper inductive locate. You do not have to worry about air coupling when directly connected to the utility. Now we'd like to perform another unique feature of the Sherlock. In this example, we use the transmitter to energize two utilities at the same time. We'll use a coupler clamp in the 8.1 kilohertz port to energize the telephone. We'll use our red and black leads in the 81 kilohertz and connect to the electric. Turn the transmitter on and change the frequency to all. 
Our technician can locate the telephone on 8.1 kilohertz and the electric on 81 kilohertz. The Sherlock multi-frequency pipe and cable locator is designed and manufactured for rugged daily use in the field. Whatever conditions you encounter, you'll find the Sherlock to be accurate, reliable, and easy to use. It is truly a product for our time. If you have additional questions, please contact Heath Consultants Incorporated at 1-800-HEATH-US or visit our website at www.heathus.com.